Hi everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, and now it's time for us to give you the girls game. I'm happy to jump, happily be joined by Coach Thatcher. Coach, another big uh, Southeast opponent coming, in, Southeast Conference opponent coming in as the Lady Whalers from New Bedford try to uh, spoil your season here. Yes. So what's the mindset going into this conference game tonight? Um, I think we're keeping the same mindset all year. Um, fight into the finish. Uh, play from start the start to the finish. Every quarter matters. We've talked a lot about not getting in ruts during different quarters um, and how to get ourselves out of that. We are also looking to transition quickly. Um, that works for us, so we're all about turning our defense into offense and he helping using our defense to create things for us on offense. Um, so we really want to push the ball. We want to get people working hard, and we're really looking to run. What are you? What's your concerns playing this team tonight? Um, they, they are similar to us. They have a lot of similarities to us. So yeah. we need to kind of. That's what happened last time. We ended up losing by one. But they're very similar to us, and they have a similar playing style. So our job is to really just work hard and um, match up with them and figure out what we can do to get an edge over them. And we're still we're healthy tonight, right? Yes, we healthy. are healthy. All the best, coach. Good luck. Thank you so much. We'll be back with a tip off right after this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup between your Brockton Boxers and the visiting New Bedford Whalers. Brockton High School would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display good, good sportsmanship to everyone involved. Please do your part by showing respect to everyone involved in tonight's contest. Inappropriate behavior, language, or verbal criticism of coaches, players, and officials will not be tolerated and may result in your removal from the gymnasium. This game is being played according to the rules of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. For your convenience, restrooms are located by the main foyer. Also, please support our boosters by visiting the snack bar located by the main entrance to the gym. And thank you for tonight's platinum sponsors, W.B. Mason, Brockton Police Patrolman's Association, and Packard Farms. We greatly appreciate your support. And now for tonight's starting lineups, starting with the New Bedford Whalers. Number three, Tatum Reese. Number four, Primari Vasquez. Number 11, Vanessa Boucher. Number 14, Kennedy Franklin. And number 23, Bailey Burke. The Whalers are coached by Jordan Pina. And now, the starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number three, Elizabeth Williams. Number 10, Angelina Fernandez. Number 11, Neilani Montero. Number 12, Malaysia Dingle. And number 22, Alexandria Williams. The Brockton Boxers are coached by Morgan Thatcher. At this time, please stand and join us for the playing of our national anthem. down after this Dominic you got it Five, four, three, two, one. Hi everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano. And the rest of the Bridge Brockton Community Access TV sports crew. Again, welcome to Staff Gymnasium for this 
Southeastern Conference matchup between the visiting Whalers in New Bedford and of course the boxers from Brockton High School here at Victor M. Ortiz Court. Should be a fantastic game. The Lady Whalers come into this contest seven and seven. And of course our Lady Boxers are currently six and nine, a couple wins away of possibly getting an invitational bid to the 2020 MIAA Girls Basketball Division I Tournament. We want you all to sit back, relax, and enjoy the game. This should be a great game. As you can see, the Lady Whalers, as Coach Pina, Jordan Pina, Pina gets his uh, pep talk into his girls, and then as Coach Thatcher with the Lady Boxers. It's gonna be interesting to see how they set the pace early in this game. But stand by for Brockton girls basketball. Here we go. And on the tip, it is tipped and won by the boxers. And there's Williams long break up to Montero. Montero way up there for Williams. Sees three, long shot, hits. And just like that, the boxers are on the board. Great movement around by the lady boxers. Come on, Red. Now Bucha. Bucha over to Reyes. Reyes thinking about driving and she'll get caught. We'll have a foul. We're gonna call that on Dingle. Her first team first, just underway. And as you can see, it's three nothing boxes. So we'll have an inbound pass in the Brockton, the Brockton end. Off the inbound. So only has so much time to get it off, hits the backboard. And on a long break like that in transition, making the boxes, great job by Williams. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Williams over to her sister, inside to Fernandez, kicks it back out to Dingo, to the far baseline that wing, Montero, she's having ball move, trouble. And then trying to move it all the way up to the other side of the baseline. Dingo for three, that's off the rim, won't go. And the boxers hustling. And there's Alexandra Williams now. All with a dingle. Dingle, Williams inside back to his sister, pivots. Back out to Dingle for three. That's off the rim, won't go. Another great offensive board by the Lady Boxers. Inside pass, Fernandez. And I'm gonna say it was last touched by the Lady Boxers. We'll have a change of possession. Officially 6.45 left in this first period. Now Bucha, long three, hey, and hitting Clay. from way downtown is Vasquez. And we're tied at three. Now just like that in transition, driving baseline off the glass, gets the roll, Dingle for two. And not slowing down, here come the Lady Whalers, Bucha driving, she tries to get a shot up, that's tipped. What they're gonna say it was last touched by a boxer, and here's this play as this last scoring drive off this pass. Dingle driving baseline and finishing very nicely. Now just like that shot missed, rebound. Oh, Williams, nice hustle. Nice hustle by Elizabeth Williams. So it will be Whaler's ball. On the inbound of Vasquez, and that's tipped away. She is hustling her tail off as Fernandez and Williams almost had a combination on the steal. Vasquez, bounce pass to Burke, back to Vasquez, downtown, won't go. Rebound, Butcher, back to Vasquez. Tries to work a little baseline shot, and she hits, and Burke has to, and we're tied at five. Now Alex to Liz Williams, back to Alex. He's trying to go to her left. Pivots, off balance, shot. Fernandez there to clean it up, but she's fouled. And she'll go to the charity stripe for a couple. There's a look at the ball moment. What, look at that, Alexander Williams, and there's Fernandez able to clean it up. 
And now she'll see how she does at the charity stripe. Almost got the roll, misses the first one. Big game here tonight. As far as both teams trying to get into the tournament. Here's her second shot. Misses them both. Off the rebound. Here come the Wheelers. Is Bucha now. Long three from downtown. Won't go. As Franklin tried to get it. Trying to regroup. I don't say it was last touched. By Brockton. So inbound pass right in front of the Brockton bench. That's Vasquez. Vasquez over to Bucha. And that's typically covered by front, uh, Burke. Now Burke off of Vasquez, top of the key there's Butcher. she's thinking about driving. Oh, nice steal by Williams, over to her sister Elizabeth Williams and finishes with the right hand and the boxes are up by two. Hey, let's go line two, line two. Now with the ball, that's Reyes. Reyes over to Vasquez, long downtown shot won't go, tipped. And finally recovered by Dinga for Brock and she gets double teamed, but gonna have a reach. I'm gonna call that on Bucha. Her first team, her first team second. Officially 4.54 left in this first period. Williams, Elizabeth Williams, all oh, inside. Nice play, so Montero can't finish. But it was last touched by, they don't say it was last touched by Franklin, it will stay Brockton ball. In the New Bedford end, off the inbound, Alexandra Williams, covered by Franklin, gets over to sister Liz, little inside, Montero, that's tipped. And it's recovered by New Bedford, and we're going to have a foul. We we'll call that on Elizabeth Williams. Boxes with this seven-nothing lead, and on a steal in transition. And the last, let's say it was last touched by the Whalers. 421 left in this first quarter. Elizabeth Williams on the inbound inside. And Montero's foul should go to the line and shoot a couple and try to extend to this Brockton lead. 420 officially left in the first period. It's the first. So King comes in and so does Tennis. And Montero. On the pitch, misses the first one. Tennis there on the rebound for the boxes. Good job by the boxes. All the way inside, off the glass and in. Nice job. Montero for two. Lead is five. Now cut off it. Good move. Foul. Good nice. move, baby. And here's the first foul on Tannis. Here's a look at this play. Nice pass inside. Montero made that look easy, but she did have a defender on her. And here's. Franklin, excuse me, Burke to shoot a couple. Hits the first. King is in for Montero. King is speedster. Officially four minutes left in the first period. The Brockton lead is four. Here's their second shot, hits them both. Leads Stop three. Let's go, let's go. Two, hit, two. And that Alexandria Williams brings it up for the boxes. 
We're actually inside the 10. It's all the way over to Elizabeth Wayne for three. Nails it. And now Reyes. Reyes, that was tipped. Nice recovery. Actually, that initially that was uh, Franklin. But King to tennis. Too hard. Rebound, bro, uh, rebound Whalers. Williams tried to get a steal. Good, good job by Alex, Alex Williams. Alexandra Williams. Down now Vasquez right. using her speed. They're going to have a foul on King. Her first team fourth. Hey, Tatum, 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 Tatum. Off the inbound. And they're going to save intent for Reyes. Tipped by the boxers. Love an inbound pass, but just in the Brockton, just on the other end of the other side of the court. Again, in the Brockton end. 3-12 left in this period. On the inbound, that's Franklin now over to Reyes. And that's tipped right, nice read by Williams. She's gonna try to finish. And they're gonna get her for dragging her pivot foot, so we'll have a change of possession. With 3.03 left in this period, and a six point Brockton lead. The win tonight, Brockton could improve to eight and nine. Currently seven and nine. And the Whalers sitting at seven and seven. Now Reyes almost put the pocket. And call that on King as she laps it off. So King comes out, Montero checks back in for King. 2.44 left in the period. Off the inbound, almost had a jump ball. There's a jump shot, won't go. And a nice play by Williams, she's gonna try to finish in, she does. Timeout, timeout, New Bedford. Here's your situation. Two, well, well, we'll look at that right now, off the break. Nice play by Williams as she picked Reyes' pocket. She goes nice and smooth, switches hands, and lays it off the glass for that nice bucket. All right, right now, Coach Thatcher talking to her starter. She might actually have, um, she might be switching somebody out. But we'll see what happens with that. But here's your situation, 229 left in the period. As we also get a peek over at the Whalers bench and Coach Pina. Again, 229 left in the first period, 15 to seven as you can see. Boxers, the Whalers coming into this contest, seven and seven. And of course, the Boxers currently seven and nine. Big win would definitely help their chances to get into the tournament. So coming out of the break after that, New Bedford timeout. Box is going to go with Biddle, Tannis, both Williams girls, Elizabeth and Alexandra, and Montero. And here comes Vasquez bringing the ball up. Top of the key. All the way over that, over to Franklin. Franklin works away to the top, takes a little jump shot, misses that, rebound and tipped. And a job, good job by Gordon. Now a long shot, now rebound Brockton. Initially Gordon, nice steal by that young lady. Now Williams works into a sister. Inside the tennis off the glass. The lead is 10 for the boxers. Vasquez, Gordon. Gordon covered by Montero, works to the top, back to Reyes, now covered by Biddle. Oh, Williams almost had another steal. Vasquez, that ball's tipped. Get back. Match up. Match up. Find somebody. Stop the ball. Stop the ball. Now Williams. Elizabeth Williams. Alexander wins from downtown. Rebound. Brockton. And off the rebound with a little hook shot is Montero for two. And a steal by Williams. 
Off the glass, she can't finish. Oh, a nice job by Biddle to keep it in, but she steps on the line trying to get that offensive board. So, nice hustle by the Lady Boxers. 111 left, and they've extended their lead to 12. Open. Open. Now Bucha driving all the way, and she's fouled. Vanessa Bucha saw something, and she ran that... That baseline was able to draw a foul. She has a chance to make this a three-point play. One oh four left in this period. Lead is ten. Here's her shot. And she hits it. Lead is nine, 104 left in this period, the first period. Williams at the 10, it's almost stolen. Go to the top of the key, that's Elizabeth Williams. Her long three, hits. Leads 12 again. Thinking about driving, her float is short, tipped. Covered by Vasquez for the Lady Whalers. Her jump shot hits. Lead is 10 again, 30 seconds left. There is two seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock of the period. Williams, hits back to her sister. Makes a move, her floater with the right hand. Oh, she fouled. Well then on Je Jessica Diaz. Her first team fourth, 17 seconds exactly left in this first period. It's the first. Come on, Red Box out. Hits them both. And that's big, lead 12 again for the boxers. This could be the last shot of the period. And Booch almost lost. She ends up getting over to Franklin. Franklin trying to finish. Too strong. Rebound Brockton. Tannis up to Williams. She has a chance to lay it off the glass. And she does. And that's the end of the period. With your score, Brockton 26, New Bedford 12. The Brockton boxes have come to play today. They are they are driving in all cylinders here. As far as their ball movement, their passing, their shooting, their free throw shooting, they've only had one bad one bad chance at the charity stripe. Otherwise, they've hit just about everything from the charity stripe as far as fouls go. I only remember the top of my head, I think I remember a couple threes they actually missed. But right now, like you can see, there's your score, Brockton 26, New Bedford 12, as we get ready to start this second period. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew. And we're just waiting for the Lady Boxers to come out of the timeout. So the boxes are gonna go with both Williams girls, Elizabeth and Alexandra. They're gonna, uh, looks like Diddle, D Dingle's in, excuse me, Dingle's in. Now with that being said, there's a tip ball and there's Tannis, long pass up to Williams, a little too far as Butcher gets that ball. She might try to drive, she'll slow it down, get up the race, almost stolen again by Williams off a pick. All the far side, inside, jump shot, won't go. Rebound, Brockton, Tannis. And we're going to have a reach in foul. And that's going to be on De Diaz. And it was Franklin will go in for Diaz for the Whalers. Okay. Yep. Hey, 
Now the boxes, top of the key. Ag Alexander Williams for three. Hit, oh, in and out. Couldn't get the roll. Did everything but finish in the cylinder. Now Franklin stops at the baseline. Almost, almost stolen. We'll go to the far baseline. They're working around really fast. There's a jump shot. Won't go. Rebound Brockton. And now Williams. She'll slow it down smartly. She'll step back for three. Won't go. In and out. But right there, Brockton on the boards. Inside. Tennis for two. They were able to split up that new bet for defense. And they forgot about Tannis. There's a little shot. Don't go. Rebound Brockton. Long pass again. There's Williams. She's going to try to finish. And she does. Timeout, timeout. New Bedford. Brockton has extended their lead. 6.26 left in the half. And here's a look at this play. Tannis up to Williams. As she hustles out Bucha from New Bedford and lays it off the glass. She did a little do double pump on that one to finish because she was very well covered. And there's a look at Coach Thatcher and the rest of the lady boxers. Again, there's your lead, 30 to 12. They are really up by 18 now. Are we still, we're still young in this first period too, 626 left. Right now though, as far as foul trouble goes, the boxers have 16 fouls. The Whalers have five. And here we go as the boxers come out of the timeout. Let's see who they come out with. They're gonna come out this time with Fernandez. Uh, Dingle. Montero. Alexander Williams. And Tannis. And here comes Bucha for the Whalers. Bucha. Gets it inside the Burke. She takes a shot. She's fouled. They're going to call that on Tannis. And we have another young lady check in. And she goes to charity stripe. There's a luck hit the first one. Misses the second. Rebound brought to Montero. Williams long pass. Fernandez gonna try to finish. But oh, not enough, not enough muscle on that. That falls short. So with the change of possession, now Vasquez checks in for, Go for Gordon. Here comes Butcher again. Butcher double teamed. Bounce pass to Vasquez. Can shoot the three, there's a shot and hits. The young lady can hit the long ball. She can hit the deep three. Williams now, 5.50 left in this first half. Oh, got a pocket picked. Loose ball on the, on the covered by Montero for Brockton. Looking for help, Uka now inside to Fernandez. Steps back, her floater won't go. Uka to clean it up and does. Rock the lead to 16. Ball tipped. Great job by Dingle. Fernandez, Williams, inside the Oka. Vasquez for New Bedford steps in front of that one. We have a change of possession, another steal for the Whalers. Bounce pass inside. There's a long three by number 23. Burke won't go, rebound Brockton. Now Dingle. Over to Fernandez. Inside the Oka using her, her God-given height and just floats it in over the rim, over the defender and into the cylinder. Vasquez from the other side and hits. Williams goes to her left inside to Fernandez, covered by Franklin. 
Inside to Oka. Oka turned around jump shot, but she's fouled. And that is going to be on 23. That is on Bailey Burke. And that puts the Whalers in the penalty. And the box is in the bonus. Here's her first shot. Hits the first. So Elizabeth Williams comes in for Alexandra Williams. 427 officially left in the half. Here's the shot. Second shot, misses the second shot. Rebounded at Reyes. Reyes, excuse me. Butcher for a long three, hits. Now Williams, tipped, covered by Dingo. Over to Montero, acrobatic, right hand shot, she goes the other way, can't finish. Rebound New Bedford, trying to come out. There's Vasquez over to Bucha, trying to finish and she fouled. That is on Elizabeth Williams. Now both teams have seven team fouls. Both teams are in the bonus. Hey, Bailey, Hits the Bailey, first. Bailey. Bailey and Tatum switch. Hey, 100 on the mate. 100 on the mate. Q, Q, you play the middle. Right? Almeida is in for Montero. Come on, make it. And right it away. looks, and now Elizabeth Williams takes out Alexander Williams. Those are the changes for the boxes. Her Spin second back, shot up. misses Spin it. Back, okay, oh, with the rebound. Tatum, Williams now. Back. Brockton leads 12. For three. That's short. Rebound, New Bedford. Vasquez almost get a pocket picked. Ooh, nice try by Fernandez. Let's see what we have a call for here. Uh, nevertheless, it's, brought, it's New Bedford ball in the Brockton end. 3.30 left in this half. Reyes bounce pass over the five baseline. Oh, what a great job. Fernandez recovered. Nice job by Dingle on the steal. Not much of the pass. Vasquez steps in front of that. They're gonna have a foul on Dingle. And she'll go and shoot the one and one. Bailey, stay back. One and one, make them. She's shooting. So Almeida will step out. Hey, Vanessa, you just play this. And Montero comes back in. Lead is 12 for Brockton. 318 left in this first half. Let's go, Q. Hits the first. Nice mechanics, nice follow through. Bailey back, straight up, no foul. 100, yep. 100. Switch them both. She doesn't catch it, Tatum. No sideline lead, no sideline. Williams are going to go full court press. Boss tip. Watch it back. Bucha. Oh. oh. So you can hear Coach Pena, they're going to pull out the same defense. 3-11 left. They've cut the Brock and lead the 10. On the inbound, Fernandez, Montero. Oka for three. That won't go. Rebound, Brockton trying to follow through is Oka, I believe. They're going to call that on Bucha. No, Montero will go to the charity straight. Misses the first. That wasn't even a foul, it was nothing. But that's a smart with three. I was in. All over the place. Misses them both. 
Now Brockton, it, I'm just giving you New Bedford. It comes Butcher now, Franklin. Switches with Vasquez, thinking three. Off our side, there's a floater on the far side. No one there, but she misses it. Fernandez, now Williams. Has a chance to add to the Brockton lead with 2.39 left. Her move, not strong enough. Nice try, though. And Dingle almost stepped in front of another pass. There's Reyes. She's going to try to drive herself, and she's fouled. We call that on Fernandez. I have that as her first foul. Here's the first, hits the first by Reyes. Hey, five. So Butcher will step it. Gordon will come in for Butcher. What is it? Here's her second, hits them both. Lead is nine. Now Dangle almost lost the ball. Over to Williams. Her baseline jump shot won't go. Rebound, New Bedford. Long pass that's tipped and will have a jump ball. Possession arrow. All right, so we will have a change of possession. Possession error goes in Brockton's favor. 201 officially left in the half. Now Williams. Fernandez moving to her right. Thinks she sees something on the back that's tipped. All blocked. And now great job by Dingle trying to get to Oka. Loses the ball. Here come the Whalers. There's Burke now. I'm gonna say she lost control of the ball. Great job by, great job by Dingle. 136 officially left. The Brockton lead is eight with 132 left. Montero. Fernandez hard, no call. And we'll have a jump ball. Possession error goes in favor of New Bedford. Approaching 115 left in the first half. The Brockton tip. Great job by the boxes. We're going to have a foul. Tatum, take care of the ball. Come on. Called on Gordon. And Oka will go to the line and shoot a couple. Hits the first. Trying to give Brockton that 10 point lead again. And she does. Now Vasquez. Approaching a minute left in the half. She gets double teamed. Hi, Franklin on that. Her jump shot. That won't go. Rebound tipped. And on a break is Williams. She's going to try to finish. She goes the other way. And gets the roll off the high bounce off the glass. Now Vasquez. As you can see, the lead's 12 for Brockton. Williams almost had another steal. Blocked by Fernandez. But able to recover and finishes Reyes. Reyes. Now Williams. Inside the, inside the Fernandez too high. Oka there to finish can't. And we're gonna foul Vasquez. Here's a look at that. 
Goes right, goes left, high off the glass, off the rim and gets the bounce. Exactly 24 seconds left. Hits the first. Here's Fernandez's second shot. Hits them both. Now Vasquez could be the last shot of the half. Rays. Franklin tipped, tipped again, tipped again. Vasquez tries to save it, gets over to Reyes. Oh, she lost the ball. It will be Brockton ball with 8.1 tenths of a second left in the half. And as you can see, a 41 to 29 lead here for the Lady Boxers. Seven, six, let's see what goes on. Three, Oka for three. Uh, and it won't fall. And that's how the half will end with your score. Brockton 41, New Bedford 29. Myself and the rest of the Brockton Community Access TV sports crew will be back with the second half in this Southeast Conference matchup. We'll be right back. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. De medio tiempo en la Guardia Nacional del Ejército hace posible que esté presente para la comunidad a la que llamo hogar. Soy un mejor vecino porque mi servicio me ha enseñado a entender lo importante que es ser miembro de un equipo. Mi servicio también me permite estar disponible para mi comunidad de maneras que otros no pueden. Ayudo a mis vecinos a ponerse de pie después de desastres naturales. Mi servicio en la Guardia Nacional del Ejército me permite mantener a salvo de amenazas a mi comunidad, a nuestro país y a quienes me importan. Visita nationalguard.com para saber cómo puedes vivir, trabajar y servir medio tiempo cerca de tu comunidad. Hi everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium here at Brockton High School. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports TV Sports Crew. As we come out of the half, your score, Brockton 41. The New Bedford Whalers, the Lady Whalers 29 in the Southeast Conference matchup. Again, like we mentioned in the beginning of this game, the Whalers coming into this contest, seven and seven. The Lady Boxers, six and nine, both teams trying to get themselves into the playoff bid. And we'll find out, and I'll let you know in a minute how the boxers are gonna come out as far as who's gonna come out and start this, again, this second half, this third quarter. All right, so here we go. It looks like the boxers are gonna go with Alexandra and Elizabeth Williams. We're gonna go with Dingle, Fernandez, and Montero. The Lady Whalers are gonna go with Bucha, Vasquez, Reyes, it looks like Franklin, and Burke to start this third quarter. All right, so we'll have an inbound, inbound pass. Was just we uh, waiting for something they want to get a better ball, I believe. One of the officials, one of the one of the officials are uh, trying to make sure they get the right game ball. All right, so we're looking for the ball. As you can see, the refs are not shot, and Coach Pina. You can't play half the game with one ball that's pushed to us. Ball. All right, so we're going to try to get the right ball. We are looking for the right ball. I don't know if you see the uh, the Williams girls and Montero and Coach Pina talking about uh, what basketball we're going to go with. And that's what they're going to do. And here we go. 
All right, so here we go. Brockton on the inbound, and we're on the way in the second half as we start this third quarter, and there's your score again, Brockton 41. The Lady Whalers 29, there's a tip almost blocked, worse than the w Williams, nice job by the sisters, so that is Alexander Williams to Elizabeth Williams and Brockton's on the board, and then the Williams and Montero almost had a steal right at half midcourt. Rebound, Brockton. Dingo, long pass, almost lost it. Williams now. Fernandez moving to her right with the right hand, too strong. And we're gonna have a foul. And here's a look at that. Goes high at the glass as she gets her pass from her sister to start the third quarter. All right, after the foul. Bedford trying to move the ball around. There's Franklin. There's Reyes now. Long pass to the far baseline. There's a baseline shot. That won't go. Rebound Brockton on the break. Brockton likes to run. There's Williams now. She goes high. Can't finish. Rebound New Bedford. Reyes now thinking about going the whole way. And she lost control of the ball. Recovered by New Bedford though. There's Vasquez with her little floater with her right hand. And 43-31. Oh, nice move by Williams. She moves her floater, won't go. Nice move left to right, and nice job by Fernandez knocking that ball. Out of play, so off that, it will be New Bedford ball. Reyes, Vasquez for three, she's been hot. Rebound. And now Franklin turns around from the baseline, hits two. And the lead is 10 again. Stay low, move your feet. Don't breathe. Be ready to help, Josh. Now Elizabeth Williams goes all the way and finishes. And the Brockton leads back up to 12. Approaching six minutes left in the third quarter, third period. Reyes goes the whole way and she fouled. That is the second one on Fernandez. And we haven't played officially two minutes in the third quarter. So it looks like Tannis will go in for Fernandez. And she finishes, Vasquez finishes the three point play after getting fouled. Off the inbound, there's Dingle. Dingle boss pass inside, too strong. Tried to hit Almeida. <coughs> Excuse me. So it'll be last touch by New Bedford. Brockton ball in the New Bedford end. Bounce pass. Montero won't go. Rebound Brockton from the other baseline. Side of base. Inside tennis. It's tipped on the floor. We'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow will go in favor of New Bedford. Officially 542 left in this third quarter. And the Brockton leads 11. Vasquez. There's a long shot, won't go. As Butcher tried to let one go. Ball on the floor, recovered by Butcher. All the way up to Vasquez, her long floater won't go. He's gonna have another jump ball. Possession arrow. Goes in favor of the boxers. <laughs> that almost had the ball stolen. There's Alameda. That's tipped by Vasquez. Vasquez trying to finish. She can't rebound Brockton. Dingle now, she gets triple team. Gonna have a foul on, on Vasquez. Her first, team first, here in the third. Here in the second half, third quarter. 
Approaching five minutes left in the third quarter. 40, as you can see, 45-36, Brockton. Now Elizabeth Williams driving. Kicks it out to Dingle. Gets the bounce in the roll and hits the three. Now Bucha, long pass up to Vasquez, driving. Oh, what a shot. Lead is 10. Oh, right under is Almeida for two. Nice look by Williams. Down the court. Now Reyes, over to Vasquez. Bounce pass, boots it from the baseline. That's blocked, and Franklin I'm gonna say that was on Franklin. Here's a look at it. On the break, Williams throws it like Tom Brady. Uncontested layup right under there. The layup made it look nice and easy. All right, as we come back to live action. Officially 4-12 left in the third quarter. And there's your Brockton lead, 22. Dango, Uka, hits. Nice job by that young lady. Under four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Vasquez tried to work it inside. Long, awkward by Burke. Burke was covered tightly. She tried to finish it. She couldn't. Nice defense by Brockton. 349 left. Franklin now off the inbound. Rushed the way all the way to the top. Back to Vasquez. They try to switch. She sees three. She takes it. And hits, that kid is on fire. Now Williams. That's tipped out of bounds. Alexandra Williams tried to get, tried to get it into Oka, couldn't do it. 3.30 left in the third quarter. And Coach Thatcher smartly calls a timeout, timeout Brockton. Here's your situation as you can see the score. Brockton 52, Whalers 41. Very important game for both teams coming down the stretch with only a handful of games remaining, literally. Brockton has two team fouls. New Bedford has two team fouls in this third quarter with 3.30 left in the third quarter. The one thing I do like is they have the three-man crew in these Division I games. After the game, we're hoping to talk to Coach Thatcher again. And get her inside on, hopefully a Brockton win, and hopefully improve to eight. Nine is a look at the Brockton bench as the girls come out of the, come out of the timeout. So it looks like Brockton's gonna go with Alexander Williams, Almeida, King, Tannis, and Oka. The Whalers are gonna go with Franklin, Vasquez, Bucha, Burke, and Gordon. With 3.30 left in the third quarter, here we go. As you can see again, Brockton 52, Whalers 41. Franklin now, tries to work inside. Gordon with a floater, hits. Got the Brockton lead. Now Williams. King for three. That won't go. Rebound Vasquez gets a good bounce. She's going to run it up the glass. Too strong. Rebound Brockton. Now Williams. Williams for three. Won't go. Rebound New Bedford. Oh, we're going to have a foul on Oka. That'll slow the game down. Stop the clock. Her, thir her team third. Bucha, they work it around Franklin. Tipped by Williams. Tanner's trying to help a lot of jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor of New Bedford. To officially 2.41 left in the third quarter. Long inbound pass over to Franklin. She lost the ball for a minute. She was off Buka. So it will be 
New Bedford balls again, ball again in the Brockton end. Butcher on the inbound for the boxers. With Gordon and Burke, and of course Vasquez and Franklin. Franklin to Gordon, back. Butcher for three, Hicks. They have cut into the Brockton lead, the lead is six. Tannis, little give and go. We're going to have a foul on the floor. On Vasquez. Thank you. 23, 23. QTD. Team third. Brockton's ball off in the, on the inbound in the New Bedford end. 2.18 left in the third quarter. Feed it in. Tannis. Too strong. Tipped. Williams there no from the far no baseline. Maybe no thinking about shooting. Makes a move inside. Pass is blocked by Franklin. Vasquez trying to finish. And she's fouled. Hey, hey, call that on Almeida. And Montero will come in for Almeida. Two oh one left. Can't finish the three point play. I'm gonna say his last touch by Oka. New Bedford has cut the lead to six. Around Butcher for a long three. That's short. Tipped. And finishing is Burke. Now Montero. Trying to go around Franklin. Makes a move up the glass, out of bounds. So Elizabeth Williams comes in for Uke. Officially, the lead is four, officially 142 left. Williams trying to make a move. Pivots inside the King. King back to Williams. She'll work it back outside. Now try to drive inside. Over to Montero. Over to Williams. Inside. Tannis off the glass. Oh, she couldn't finish. Rebound, New Bedford. Now Franklin. Can't finish. Tipped. But she fouled. Gordon's fouled. She'll go to the line. 117 left in this third quarter. Both teams have four team fouls now. There's the first. Fernandez in for Tannis. Here's the second. Misses it. He gets the bounce, won't go, tipped on the floor. There's another shot, that won't go. Another shot wide. Another shot will have a foul on the floor again. And Butcher will go to the line and shoot a couple. Tannis will go in for Fernandez. Officially 107 left in this third period. Here's the first, misses the first. Here's her second, misses them both, tipped. Franklin recovers for New Bedford, and King steps in front of that, and she gets fouled. What did she do wrong? She's just 
fast and slow. Off the inbound. You can hear the coaches talking to the ref, Coach Pena talking to the official. Williams for two hits. Now a minute left in the period. Reyes back in the game for the New Bedford Whalers. They work on the perimeter. Gordon won't go. Rebound broken on the floor. And you're gonna have a jump ball. So we'll have an inbound pass right in front of us. Thirty-three point two tenths of a second left. Now King. King into tennis. We're gonna have a push. They're gonna call that on Bailey Burke. That will be the team's fifth or sixth. Now ball put back in play. Williams thinking three, she can hit it. Works her way to the top of the key, driving with her right and pivots her floater. In and out won't go, rebound New Bedford. This could be the last shot of the quarter, she drives all the way, won't go. And going up strong and finishing is Bucha. Long three, oh, she almost hit it. And New Bedford has cut the lead to three, 56-53. In this big Southeastern Conference matchup game. Here's your situation. Brockton has 16 fouls. New Bedford has five as we get ready to start this fourth quarter. As you look at the Brockton bench, those girls are tired. They need to try to get their momentum back. At one time, they had a very impressive 12-point 12, 12 lead, 20-point lead, and to their credit, the New Bedford Whalers have fought back. Right now, the guests, uh, the Whalers only have three team total timeouts left, and Brockton has four. Again, as you get a peek at the Brockton bench, and the referees to the right, you can see them talking over, and. See what happens here. One team will improve to eight and seven, the other team will improve to eight and nine. All right, so here we go as you come out of the break. It will be King. King Montero, the two Williams girls, and Gordon will absolutely add a little miscommunication, and that's how the fourth quarter will start, and Brockton will take over with a three-point lead, 56-53. Little give and go, thinking about the give and go, Williams to her right, driving inside, and she fouled. And I'm gonna call that on Franklin. And number three, Elizabeth Williams, the captain, will go to the charity stripe and try to add to the Brockton lead as we're just underway here in this fourth period. Here's her first shot. Misses the first. This is big. Misses the second. Rebound New Bedford. All the way to the other 
On the side, back out to Franklin to the far side, baseline three, won't go, tipped, Brockton. Now Elizabeth Williams. Approaching the seven minute mark left the game, long three downtown, won't go. Tannis on the rebound, King now, she's gonna try to drive her floater, won't go but she's fouled. So King will go to the charity stripe and try to add to the Brockton lead. Here's her first, hits the first. Officially 7.05 left in the game in this very important Southeast Conference matchup. Here's her second shot. Second shot in and out won't go on the floor. Tannis is there and will have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor of Brockton. Inbound pass on the Brockton end. On the inbound, Elizabeth Williams to Alexander Williams for three, hits! Timeout, timeout, New Bedford. Your score, as you can see, Brockton 60, the Whalers 53, 656 left in the game in this big, big matchup. Both teams, again, we can't, we can't emphasize this enough, both teams trying to get themselves inside into the tournament. Again, right now, the Whalers have 17 fouls and Brockton only has six. All right, as far as team out, team timeouts go, I apologize, I had to come up the air there for a minute. As far as total team timeouts, Brockton only has, I'm sorry, Brockton has four, and the Whalers have two. All of us at Brockton Community Access TV, hope you enjoy this coverage of Brockton girls basketball here from Victor M. Ortiz Court, and of course, from Staff Gymnasium here at Brockton High School. Brockton are gonna go with both Alexander girls, Tannis, Montero, and Dingle. Long pass, race to the baseline, lost the ball. Franklin, they're gonna get a foul on Dingle. Now Brockton, both, now both teams are in the bonus. And Franklin will go shoot a pair. Here's her first, this is the first. Here's her second, hits the second. Lead is six for all the boxers. Boxers trying to add to their lead at one time. Begin the first half, they had a 20 point lead. Dingo pivoting, looking, Tannis inside, bounces. Montero drives, shut the glass, too strong. Rebound, Williams kicks it out. Williams, her sister, steps back for three. That's short. Montero on the rebound. Tennis to clean it up, off the glass, won't go. I'm gonna say it was last touch by Brockton. Approaching the six minute mark left in the game. Brockton go to the half court trap. Bucha for a shot, hit the rim, won't go. And they say it was last touched by New Bedford. Coach Pina calls out a defense here for the Whalers. Williams trying to come out of her own end. She's using the speed, trying to go around Vasquez. She'll stop. Turns around for three, won't go. Trying to get her own rebound, Vasquez is there. Timeout, timeout, New Bedford. Again, your score now is Brockton 60. The Whale is 54. Both teams are in the bonus. Both teams are in the penalty. Officially 5.56 left. It looks like King just checked in for Brockton. 
So we'll have a switch there. We'll see who else Coach King, uh, Coach Thatcher will come out with after we come out of this timeout. And we'll have hopefully have an interview here with Coach Thatcher. And hopefully it'll be a Brockton win as the boxers trying, the lady boxers are trying to pro improve to eight and nine. The boys are out in New Bedford playing. Of course, at New Bedford, the boys are currently 11 and two on the season. And in first place in the Southeast Conference, this brand new Southeast Conference. So the, so the Whalers are gonna come out of the break. They're gonna come out with Burke, Reyes, Gordon, Vasquez, and Franklin. Brockton's going to come out with both Williams girls, Montero, Tanis, and King. And here come the Whalers. Franklin bringing it down. She thought she saw something. Gets it over to Reyes. I'm um, shooting Butcher. Butcher. Loose possession off that one. It'll be, it'll be Brockton's ball. Williams. She was hot earlier from the from the from the three-point line. Williams acrobatic shot with her left hand high off the glass for two. The lead is eight. Franklin. Thinking about grabbing up the Vasquez using a God-given speed will have a foul. She's gonna double check the book. One of the, one of the officials coming over to verify that is. All right, so here we go. As you can hear the coaches talking in the background about the ref was trying to confirm I can only go what's in the books. And she is absolutely correct. So Vasquez, who's been hot, number four, the sophomore guard, hits the first. The lead is seven. Hits them both. The lead is six with 518 left in the game. Williams now. Goes out, trying to go around Butcher over to Tannis, back out to Williams again. They try to work off a switch. They stop, kicks up to Williams again. Five minutes left in the game. Feeds it low to Williams, she spins, pivot foot, a turn around, acrobatic shot, overshoots the basket, rebound New Bedford. On a break. There's Butcher, slows it down, loses the ball, throws it over the hoop, rebound Brockton. Now Elizabeth Williams. Over to Alexandra. Over to Montero. 4.30 left, 15 seconds. Have a push on Montero, change of possession. Officially 4.29. That foul was called on Montero. Her team ninth. Now Reyes blocked. Tannis. And they're gonna have a foul. They're gonna call that on Bailey Burke. And then comes another very good player, the sophomore Savannah, Savannah Gordon. And Reyes will take a seat. And Tannis will go to the charity stripe and try to add to the Brockton lead, which is currently six. As you can see, 62 to 56. Hey, one and one, box out. Misses the first, rebound New Bedford. Franklin almost lost the ball. Gets it, o gets it over to Burke, all the way over. And she lost the ball, Gordon lost the ball. So we'll have a change of possession. Got a 
put herself right in the corner off the, all she did was play herself off the pass that actually put it out of bounds. So with that being said, here come the boxers. Pushing four minutes left. Inside, oh nice look from Williams to tennis. Wow, lead is eight. Now New Bedford, Franklin over to Vasquez. Vasquez, awkward three, won't go. She's been hot. They kick it back out to her. And they want me to play in the game. Here we go. Yes, I saved that. That was me. All right, so we'll have an inbound pass right in front of our broadcast bench. And as Elizabeth Williams gets it over to Alexandra Williams. Covered by Bucha. Her jump shot won't go. She gets her own rebound over to Fernandez inside to Burke off the glass. Too strong. New Bedford on the rebound. Now Burke. Gordon, her floater won't go, but she's fouled. They're going to call that on. Montero. Now they're in the double bonus. So she'll get two. Hits the first. She hits this, she'll cut the Brockton lead to six. Misses, misses it. And trying to save it. King did everything she could on the line to try to save the ball. Ran out of real estate. It is now New Bedford ball with 3.18 left in the game. Fernandez initially had a nice tip, but Vasquez is right there to take it from New Bedford. She's going to try to drive. We're going to have a foul. And be called on Elizabeth Williams. 3.13 left. Vasquez used her speed, saw an open lane, and ran to it. And she drew a foul. And Williams came up and just tried to defend it. Misses the first one. And it looks like Dingo will go in for King. Here's her second shot. Hits the second. Now Williams almost broke the rankles. Montero, a little miscommunication. Williams recovers, covered by Butcher. Three minutes left in the game. Stops, pivots, gets it over to Elizabeth Williams, all the way over to Dingle, inside, off the glass, and Fernandez puts it home. Now Vasquez, tipped, covered by New Bedford. Franklin from the baseline, won't go. It, Loose ball on the floor and fouled as Butcher shall go to the line. And you're going to call that on Fernandez. And Fernandez is fouled out of the game. With 2.36 left and an eight point lead for the boxers. And Butcher's going to try to. Help her cause with the team. Hits the first. Lead is seven. Here's the second shot. Hits that. Doesn't hit that. Excuse me. Rebound Brockton. Now Elizabeth Williams over to tennis. She'll try to finish. And she's fouled. Rebecca Tennis with a nice move, nice pass, nice finish. She's going to try to make this a three point play. Here's a look at it, folks. Nice pass by Elizabeth Williams, and Tannis finishes. She gets fouled. She's going to try to make this a three point play. The rebound, New Bedford on the break. Vasquez using the speed. Let's see what she does. She slows it down, covered by Dingle. Tries to go to her right, steps back. Baseline to Butcher. Butcher drives the baseline. Her floater won't go. 
and we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor of the Whalers. Officially 2.15 left in the game. We're gonna try to get a post game with Coach Thatcher. There's a long shot, won't go. And keeping it on with Franklin, great job. Gonna have a foul on a travel called on Savannah Gordon. So it'll be Brockton ball. Now down to 2.07 left in the game. And Alexander Williams, she's thinking about driving inside the tennis, bounces it. Then an offensive foul as Bailey Burke held her position. One fifty-nine left in the game. And as you can see, 68-59. There's an off shot and the foul called. They call that on tennis. And Bailey Burke will go to the charity stripe. Here's her first shot. Hits the first. Here's her second shot. Almost gets the bounce. Rebound blocked and tipped. And Vasquez is there with for the ball. She's gonna drive baseline inside. Let's say it was last touched by the boxers. The lead is eight, 148 left in the game. 68-60, Brockton. On the inbound, Bucha inside. An awkward shot, and they're gonna have a foul on Tannis. And Uga comes in for Tannis. Again, Burke to shoot a couple. Hits the first. And the second, misses the second. Now Williams. Thinking about driving herself. In Oka, that's tipped. She lost control. We're gonna have a foul on Dingo. So she'll automatically go to line and shoot a couple. Officially 137 left in the game. The lead is seven now for Brockton. Here's the first shot, it's the first. Free throws are so important coming down to the end of the game. Here's Gordon's second shot. Misses it, tipped. Uka on the rebound, gets it out to Williams. Now Elizabeth Williams. Inside. To Montero, she lost the ball. Bucha now bringing the ball up for the Whalers, approaching 120 left in the game and a six point lead for the, for the Lady Boxers. Vasquez almost gets a pocket pick. Great job by Dingle. She just didn't have enough real estate to Enough parquet to pick the ball up and start a play in transition. So on the inbound in the Brockton end, there's Franklin out, Franklin. Gordon, Bucha for a long shot on the rebound and finishes is Bailey. Now Montero. A minute left in the game. The lead is four. Williams, her floater. 
Won't go. Rebound, New Bedford. Go ahead, B, come on. Now Bucha. She's blocked. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay New Bedford ball. 42.4 tenths of a second. As King comes, King will come in for Dingle. No bench changes. Off the inbound, Franklin. Oh, King almost had a steal. Boucher recovers, though. Vasquez for three. Hits. And the Lady Whalers have come down to make it a one-point game, 68-67, with 34.4 tenths of a second left in the game. No more timeouts for the Whalers. And Coach Thatcher gonna try to put a Band-Aid on this before it gets too bad. Gets out of hand right now. Again, at one time, the Lady Boxers had a 20 point lead. Kudos to the Lady Whalers. They've battled and haven't given up. So it's interesting to see what Coach Thatcher says. Coming out of this timeout, let's see what she does for personnel. All right, this is big. Whalers want to improve to eight and seven. Brockton wants to improve to eight and nine. The boxes will come out with Alexander Williams, King, Oko, Elizabeth Williams and Montero with 34.4 tenths of a second. The Whalers will go with Vasquez, Burke, Puka, Puka. They're gonna say it was last touched by the boxers. Timeout, timeout Brockton, 32.8 tenths of a second. The score remains exactly what you see, 68-67. Coach Pina, and there's another look at the Brockton bench. Both teams over the limit. Brockton with 10, puts the Whalers in a double bonus shooting situation. Whalers have nine, but one more, that puts Brockton on a double bonus. Again, we hope you enjoyed this broadcast of Brockton High School Girls Basketball here from Staff Gymnasium on the Victor M. Ortiz Court. Big Southeast Conference matchup. All right, so the boxes are going with Oka, the Williams girls, Montero, and King. They haven't changed anything. On the inbound it's for the Whalers, it's Bucha, Franklin. It looks like Burke and Gordon. And it is. Vasquez inside. Ook intercepts that. You're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor of Brockton, I believe. It does. So it will be Brockton's ball. The shooting clock is off. Off the inbound. Timeout. Timeout, Brockton. 26.3 tenths of a second. And as you can see, a very close game, 68-67. Both teams just trying to get themselves in the 2020 MIAA Girls Basketball Division I South Sectional Tournament. The boys are currently playing over in New Bedford. Bringing down their 11-2 record in their Southeast Conference first place. In first place in the Southeast Conference. So here's a look at the New Bedford bench as they come out of the timeout. Coach Pena giving the last minute, last minute words of encouragement. Looks like the Whalers are gonna go with Burke, Vasquez, Gordon, 
Franklin and Bucha. Off the inbound. Brockton's going with the same setup they had before. They're gonna have a foul. Gonna have a foul, so Williams will go to the charity strike. Bocha was trying to get the ball, but the ref was right there. All right, so William has a chance to add to the Brockton lead, 22.7 tenths of a second. She gets two, because both teams are in the double bonus situation now. Hits the first, it's big. There's the second, hits them both, the lead is three. 22 point, 20 seconds. They have no more timeouts left. Boach and the ball gets stolen by King. Oh, what a great play. Williams gonna finish. She can't, Oka, she can't, tipped. Not going to jump ball. It'll be New Bedford ball with 1.3 tenths of a second. Hey, wait, two, get on the run, on the run. Shoot it, shoot it. And the ball's tipped. And Coach Pina not happy with the way that game ended. With your score, the Brockton box has improved to 8-9. And the Whalers drop to seven and eight. Everybody, welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. Dominic Damiano joined by Milani Montero. Did I get it right? Yep. I came close. I had a couple syllables. What a great, great game going down to the wire, right? What were your thoughts when they when they put you on the court for the last couple seconds of this game? Honestly, um, I just knew that we had to uh, guard our girl good because guard our defenders good yep. because. It was going to be close there. Some of them are good shooting team, yep. and it was just a very close game. Now, what was the mindset that coming out of the last time out? What was Coach Thatcher trying to push? Uh, she just wanted us to get the ball, hold on to it, try to get it down the court. Not bad. At eight and nine. We're almost getting close to the tournament. Congratulations. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, for all of us at Brockton Community Access Sports, we hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Your score one last time, Brockton 70. The New Bedford Whale is 67. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic night.